And so for doing that, we get rid of the sandstorm that was down there. So now we can pick up the Mercury Sigil, I believe, and fully unlock the God Hand. Like I said earlier, you don't get a special item for getting all of the named chat or all, yeah, all of the named spheres. The treasure down here will always be the same. Do appreciate that mega elixir, though. Okay, so just a couple things before I leave. I want to head on over to the inside of Sin to, I believe, get a extra bit of cutscene. That way I can go in there and not have to worry about getting that cutscene anymore so I can just pick up the extra enemies in there. And then it's off to the monster arena. Because I've captured quite a bit of monsters and may as well go on and have the guy unlock it. You're counting. Yeehaw, Plus, doing it this way will allow me to see how many of which enemies I need in the Beaconel Desert left. Okay, no. I could have swore that there was a cutscene in there. Whoop when you change from that scene to the next. Apparently I was wrong. You're count. Yeah, you can count on me all you want. Yeehaw! Here we go! Cups. just to make my trek faster. got a lot of monsters. Wow, sir, you've completed a total of 10 races in the arena. You've seen to be worthy of this prize. I gather it's a priceless item, but I have no use for it. He gives us the Mars Sigil. <laughs> He's been researching the specimens on Jose Road. We get a 99 Petrify grenades. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see what's gonna kick my ass. Cold stare. Stoned. It does damage. Let's go on and blow through a banishing blade. Well, fuck it. <laughs> if you fail, then it'll do less damage. <laughs> God damn hiccups. Water time. And that's what happens if you leave one of your people stoned. He'll go up, smack him, and kill him.
like I said, most of these monsters at this point in the game, it's not even feasible for you to be able to beat them. <laughs> Brought specimens from Beacon Owl Island, Shadow Gems. Yeah, let's take it on. We have the sandworm. Now we've got the abyss worm. A lot fucking more health. Let's see what this guy does. Not that bad of damage. I'm sure if I fought seriously against this guy, I could probably easily beat him using a combination of my power hitters here and the Aeons to make sure that its earthquake attack doesn't do shit. Unlike the other worm, though, the sandworm, when it does regurgitate, it actually hurts your person. I'm just gonna let this guy kill my people, cuz... fuck it. See, when it would go into Quake here, I would take the, uh, extra chance to swap over to Yuna, bring in Valfor, that way nothing gets hit by Quake. Since Valfor is a flying type. Anyways. And... Arena match over. Yeah, no AP. Turn around. Okay. Thanks to you, he's created the ultimate horned creature. 99 light curtains. Let's take it on. The Juggernaut. The Juggernaut is rather tankish. When it's charging, a few turns after the fact. I mean, even after using Armor Break, look how little damage I'm still doing to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job not killing Titus. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have made fun of it. Of course I wasn't up to stuff. After researching the fiends you brought to me, he's created an incredible egg insect. 60 mana tonics. And he has made, I believe, the hornet. Yep. I was hoping that Titus was going to kill himself. Anything else? 
After taming all of the little birds you brought me, he's made a ultimate version of it. Let's check it out. So, he's made Petrix, I guess. It's got health regen. And it's so evasive that nobody can hit it. It also is the first enemy we have encountered that inflicts the curse status. The curse status makes it so you cannot charge up or use overdrives. So it can be annoying to deal with. Okay, the ultimate wolf. 99 chocobo feathers. And he made Finrear. Which, once again, like the uh, pirate or whatever the call, whatever it's called is a very evasive enemy. Well, before I die, I might as well pull out another slice and dice. Got it. All right, on to the next one. He's mixed all the flans together and made a really no. Ooh. Ooh. And made a really nasty one indeed. Say hello to the ultimate flan, also known as the jumbo flan. This motherfucker. <laughs> this motherfucker is immune to physical attacks and magical attacks unless you're using Ultima doesn't do shit against it. And even if you're using Ultima, you're... yeah, you're, you're gonna be fucked. Because at a certain point, it'll cast Regen on itself, and... Unless you're double casting with every person, you're not going to be able to do enough damage to counteract its regen. I fought this Jumbo Flan once while underleveled and beat it, but it took every Mega Elixir I had. So, the ultimate, uh, no, he made enemies from the Mushroom Rock. 99 Candles of Life, but I already had that. Bring it on. And he made the ultimate Coral enemy. Coral Regina? I don't fucking know. Not as evasive of an, of an enemy. Hyper Blaster is pretty well much just an insta-kill. Eventually it'll start counter-attacking with Chaos, which, as you may notice, puts Doom and Confuse on your person. So don't think lightly of that enemy. 